Hello, this is me, Golowicz, showing you how to hook your console, which I'm using a PS3, up to your monitor. The things you'll need are an HDMI to DVI, so you have DVI to HDMI, like that. One of these audio to headphone like jacks, so right here's the headphone part. Here's the audio, so left, right. Need a female to female audio jack thing, so it's like this, and both sides you can plug into. And your original PS3 cables, just for the sound. And your PS3, if you are using it. I don't know how really properly to do it on Xbox because I do not own one right now, or ever. So, let me just get up here. Okay, first thing you need to do is, on the back of your monitor, you'll need to find DVI port. So on this one, it's right here. Let me see if you can see it. So it'll be like right here. And this is where you're gonna be plugging this into. So, you'll see if it matches up. Hold on, just make sure. So you'll plug that into it, and then you'll tighten these up. So, you'll just tighten that up into it, just so you have a better connection, because it'll make sure that all the little, like, connectors are properly in. So you just tighten that up, and then you'll be left with this, which is the HDMI. And then now you can turn your monitor back to where it was. Yeah, I'm just going to put it back here for right now. Because I don't need to use it right in a second. Oops, sorry. And next is where you do this. So one of these ends will go plug into here. Like that. The next part you need to do is take this. Take the red and the white and match it up with the red and the white. And this will be your sound later on. So right there. So mainly the only thing you need to buy is a console, your monitor, which for 1080p you need a 21.5 inch screen and higher. Anything lower will be 720 or lower. Because my, my monitor in my room is that. And I'm just doing this to, to show you because I have a big screen TV downstairs, so I don't do this anymore. Okay, now what you'll do for PS3 is you'll plug everything in. So you plug the HDMI into the back of the PS3. Okay, so just plug it in, and there you go. You'll take this, the original PS3 cables, and you'll also plug it in. First. There. And then it should look like this. So, right here's HDMI, which goes into the back of the monitor. Right here's the, D the PS3 cables, which will go into here. And right here's the power cord, which you need to play. So, now, let's just go back here. And now to get to work. So first thing I'll need to do is make sure your monitor's on, which my, my right now mine's on sleep, mine's on like standby because nothing's here. And then you'll go over to your PS3 and you'll press this but the power button and keep your finger on it and hold it there. Until you hear a second beat. Right there. And then you can let go. And then you'll watch as the monitor will detect it. Focus. Oh, it focus. It focus. Guesses an available HDMI device has been, was detected. Do you want to output? video and audio to HDMI. So you press the PS3 button on your controller like that to turn it on. 
and then you'll press yes. Pretty simple. Okay. And it says, can you read the screen? Yes, if you can. Currently, the resolution is 1080p because I have a 22 inch screen. Do you want? Do you not press buttons? The system will automatically back to the previous setting, which is the lowest one. But since I want 1080p, I press yes. So then it'll load up to the default. So if you had a theme or something on your old, like before on your old TV, it'll just delete it and everything. And then here you are. Okay, so now to get the sound, you'll go here to sound settings. You'll click it. Audio output settings, and you'll go down to the bottom one, which is audio input connector, SCAR, AV multiply. You'll press that. X. And then bam, you'll have your sound. But, if you want, you can either use a headphone for sound, or you can use speakers. But since I don't have any speakers in this room right now, because I'm only doing this as a test thing, I'm just going to do this. You do this, take your headphones, push it down. And there's your sound, and hopefully you can hear this. Maybe not. But anyways, then you go to a game, and you're all ready to play. You just put your headphones in, you'll sit here, and since I'm in Canada and I went to the source, what it was for me was the cable for the HDMI DVI was $40, and this thing right here was ten dollars and this was eight dollars. I don't know why they're so much overpriced, but if you go on Amazon and stuff, it'll probably be cheaper. The monitor depends on how much you want it to be. This one's 22 inch and it's not that bad. Like it fits the, the proper size of this room. And then you need a system. The Xbox is a little bit different, has somewhat of the same, but it's not exactly the same. And as you can see it's in 1080. We'll kind of see. And there's sound. Like I'm not lying with you, there's actually sound. You just can't see it. I don't really know where the microphone is, so I'm just gonna get it somewhere over here. Yeah, so you might be able to hear that. I'm not sure. And then you can go to multiplayer. And that's all for now. So remember, you just need to buy these two things. HDMI to DVI cable, and if you, if you have to get a new monitor to play in 1080, then that. If not, then don't. But that's all for now. I want you to rate, comment, subscribe.